Yo, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls video. My name is Shredblood, and today we are going to be in Season 19, Hardcore Course. We're going to be jumping into the Shadow Impale Build Guide. So, I'm going to show you guys my gear, my stats, and of course skills after we try to attempt a GR100. As you can see, I think the highest they've pushed is 125, or actually 120 for the Shadow Impel. And I've actually only tried up to a 90 with uh, 4 minutes and 26 seconds. That's, just, that's actually pretty good. So we are going to attempt to try a GR100. Hopefully we get a really good map with some decent pylons. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, I don't hate this map. But you definitely want to always activate shadow. I mean, shadow power as soon as you get in. Oh, I don't like the placement of that off this. Alright, that's not the thing. Well, hopefully we can find some elites. Uh oh, we got a, oh, it's a tiny one. We got a shield pile on. Oh, he has a. Wow, we might want to proc that one. Really hard to spot those small ones. But as you can see, we're. Oh, there it is. He's really hard to spot. As you can see, we propped. It's, I mean, that's okay. I'm actually fine with it. I kind of assumed we would. Oh, some weak mobs here. Alright, so we got a little decent lead in the rift. Getting a little laggy, but that's okay. I'm running area damage on some of the pieces, so nothing wrong with that. Let's see if we can get this one down. I can't even see that. Oh, there he is. I think we got him down. Alright, I mean, we are pushing GR100 pretty early. And oh, we got a pow. Oh my god. So early, too. So that's not good. No elites even by him. Uh, I, I gotta try to quickly find the elites and just smack them. I don't think we are. Oh. There we go. It's a big one. And I just hate going against the pylons. I mean, those dildos can be just horrendous. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. We're trying to kill him. We're actually trying. Oh, I don't like the spiders. They just. Oh, we got another little leap park. That's nice. Oh, not the poison field. Oh, let's get back and knock this. Oh, he's trying. Oh, wow, really? That wasn't good. Yeah, we just wanted to kind of move them up into the mob area. I can't tell if the other one moved up or not. Oh, he's still down here. That sucks. Okay, he's down, so let's continue on the rift. I was hoping to find a decent, well, we got that power pile on, but a conduit would would be perfect for uh, level progression. Oh, that sucks. It's the end already. It's arranged. 
a lot of range uh, knobs on this one. Hmm. We got a channeling. Challenge's not great for me. Might just grab it and pop it for. Oh, we got a leap pack, which. That's not bad. Let's see if we can drag them. I mean, the mobs aren't even that great on this one either. Okay, we got them. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. So we got one down. Just make sure you're jumping out on top of us and you're good. Alright, so that went on pretty easy. And then we got a conduit. That's very nice. I was hoping for a leap pack in there. Okay. We got lag. Okay, we had a little bit of lag there. That's, I mean, that's okay. But where did that leak go? There he is. I hate the wall elites. That's. I'm trying to kill some of the mobs in here. Okay, this is a decent one. And he's down. So that's probably going to run out soon. At least there were some decent mobs here. Not the best kind of mobs, but they're decent. I should have saved it. Now here's some. Oh man, there's a leap pack right there too. Let's see if we can build some bombs. I was going to follow. Okay, they're coming. Hurry up. Got one down. The other ones. Okay, he's down. That will clear up most of the mobs. Got like a nice little kill streak going. Oh, then we get this guy. That's nice. Don't teleport me, man. That's not cool. Come on, give me that off this. Oh, it's right there, too. Okay, he's dead. I think we might try to find a pylon, regardless of what it is. I think I'd like to get speed, though. But that would just be nice. As you can see, we've got the angels on our side. Died in both of those explosions. And he's dead. Gee, horror. I don't think it was the greatest time, but we hit rank 2 
37. So there we go. Oh, we got a primal. It's a ring. Oh, it's a wide word primal ancient. What? It could have been a convention. It could have been anything. But we had a ring one. Well, did a 100, got a primal. So I probably want to do Gorgok. That's so funny. That's some good shit, though. That's crazy. Alright. So we're doing 8 minutes of 56. I mean, I'm not even at 2 million DPS, but. We did a better time than Boudicran. That's that's hilarious. Let's go ahead and look at its stats. I mean, I can give it to my follower. It's really not that bad. If I didn't have to use Ring of Roy Grinder, but yeah, Primal Ancient. It's super funny though. That's crazy. All right, but let's go ahead and uh, check out the build. So I don't have very many ancients, and the only piece I actually have augmented is my Carly, which is 9% dex and of course increased attack speed. So it's pretty perfect. It has cold damage as well. Boots or dex light armor, but you definitely want to incorporate resist all into the boots. Holy point when you go with dex, attack speed, critic chance, and try to get impale damage percent. Pants is always going to be dex a bit, resist all. So our elusive, I would suggest uh, damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. Yeah. Uh, this is you just need this ancient dex with resist all life percent. And same with the compass. I was actually upgrading rares for the chance to get an elusive ring. I didn't get the elusive ring, but I did get a primal ancient compass rose, which isn't horrible. It has dex crit hit chance. I mean crit hit damage, attack speed, area damage. So it's not my perfect. I think I could probably get a better just ancient one. Because I would love to get uh, attack speed, damage percent, crit damage, area damage, which it's almost up there. Then we got Augle Search, cold damage, dex, vit, crit hit, chance. It's not bad. It'll be good as I'm pushing higher up in the GRs, which hit like 110s, 115s where that cold percent is really going to help me with those massive mobs. And then we have elusive, which isn't great, it's just a worse roll. And then you got your shadow grass, so I would definitely go dex, attack speed, crit hit damage, or crit hit chance. Now for your uh, gaunt, I mean your shoulders, you definitely want to go dexterity, resist all, and then probably switch out bite and life. Because as you get higher GRs, you can put more into Vitality. So you're going to keep Dex Resist All and then go for cooldown and, of course, area damage. For your helmets, I have Dex Credit Chance and Life for Hit. Not really necessary. You can switch out Life for Hit for Impale Percent damage. And then for your Traveler's Pledge, you definitely want to go uh, Credit Damage, Crit Hit Chance. And switch out Attack Speed for, of course, probably Cold Percent or Lightning just depends where you're at in your season so yeah there's the builds let's go and jump into the skills passive all pretty basic average goal of the week number drops you probably switch out uh this earlier for your lower grs number drops will probably leech but it's not really necessary so we're doing wolf companion for more dps you're going to definitely want to switch to the boar as you as you uh you're going up into the one of fives one tens one twenties then impel ricochet i will probably eventually go ahead and uh, jump over to the over penetrate it doesn't ricochet but it will allow you to manage mobs way more because you're freezing them and it's really important so yeah and then bolt rattling rune uh because it it knocks enemies away and are stunned for 1.5. Shadow power doesn't matter on the runes. You can have every one. Phantom Knives, Bladed Armor. 
Um, as you put more device out, there's certain things you can actually switch out, but it's still really good. So your knives will slow the movement of enemies by 60% for one second, and then the bladed ar armor gives you 40% additional armor for six seconds, which is really good for packs of mobs. But if you wanted to, you can actually switch that out for, where is it at? Marked for death. There's one that gives you a 25% uh, credit chance, or probably, yeah, if you do Valley of Death, enemies in the area take 15% additional damage. So that's that's also something you can uh, roll with. You gotta have Vengeance and Dark Heart. And uh, that's pretty much it for the build. If you guys enjoyed it, please go ahead and smash the thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. As well as if you're new to the channel, please go to remember to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching.